Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today what I got for you is um, I got more subscribers asking me how to upload bin files to their ESP32s that they just got in from China and they want to get rich. So they want to know how to upload the NerdMiner version 2 software to their ESP32. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And all it takes is one um, tool and one software, and, and the software is the bin file I'm going to give you. Well, actually, we're actually going to, I'm, I'm going to actually be like, I am the subscriber, and I just got this in from China, and I want to put Gary's bin file onto it. So that is what I'm going to show you how to do, okay? So, without further ado, let's go right onto the desktop, and let's get that one tool we need. Then we're going to get the bin file, and we're going to upload it. All right, so here we go. So Gary said to go to this website. All right, he said, well, first he's, I gotta open up my my window here. Gary said to go to this website right here, and I'm gonna have this link down in the description. All right, and then he said to click on the flash download tool. So click on it. It automatically opens up your download folder, hit save. All right, so we'll go over here. Um, it, it downloaded fine, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the file, and I already unzipped it, and this is what you end up with right here, is the Flash Download Tool. All right, so now that we have the tool, now we need the bin file. All right, so let's close this down. Let's go over to one of Gary's videos. Um, what is this one here? ESP32 Mining Setup, okay, for the Nerd Miner version 2. Uh, by DIY Electronics. I'm going to really have to stop by and get Gary a coffee. You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to get him a coffee right here. All right. How do I do this? All right. I'll, I'll come back to this. Oh, here it is right here. You hit it one time and you buy him a $5 cup of coffee. All right. He's got some cool stuff here. Look at this. He's giving these, these uh, voltage regulators away for free. Very free. All you have to do is give him a $5 donation contact him with your address and he will send you these um, voltage regulators for free there's seven of them what's that a uh, that's a five a six I don't believe it's an eight a nine a twelve I think that's a 15 and a 24 that's cool all for free anyways let's go back to Gary's place here all right so anyways I'm gonna go back and buy him a coffee uh, link to the bin file is right here so I'm gonna click on it Oh, huh, that's easy. Just download it. I'm going to download it. That's convenient. It goes right to my download folder. I'm going to hit save. And it's saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that file. Well, I'm not going to open the file up. I'm going to open up the location because my flash download is there too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brand spanking new ESP32 out of its package. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to power it up. I got it powered up. My brand spanking new, just fresh out of the package. I got it powered up and I've got it hooked to my computer. All right. So now I'm going to go back. Now, um, in his video, Gary says you have to go over here to the little window, right click it, go to device manager. Go to the ports, the common LPT ports, double click and find out that's your ESP32 right there. COM5. So remember, COM5. So I'm going to go down there. So now we got to open up the tool. We got everything that we need. We got the flash tool, we've got the bin file, and we know what COM port our ESP32 is on. So I'm going to open up the flash downloader and I'll go right down here to the application. Double click. Do, do, do. Wait for it to load. Now, I am using a just standard uh, ESP32. If I had an S3, I'd pick S3, so on and so forth. But this right here, this bin file is meant for the uh, strictly the ESP32. We're going to leave it in development mode and say OK. All right. So now we're going to uncheck this box and we're going to hit this little box over here. 
Now we're going to go to the download folders and we're going to choose the bin file. We're going to double click and it automatically populates right here. And we're going to click this little box here. And if this 0x and the four zeros is not there, put it in. Okay. So we went, we've got the, um, the bin file loaded up here. We checked the box here. We put in the X, you know, zero X zero zero zero, the four zeros. We come down here. If this is not on COM5, you click it and you put it on COM5, okay? So now, what we do is we go right down here and we hit start. Click. Right now, we just leave it alone. It's sinking. It's, it's getting into the ESP32. Oh, look at that. It's uploading. Do, 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 do. So we let it upload. Man, this couldn't be any easier, Gary. This is this is working great. I gotta remember to go back over there and buy you a coffee. Five bucks. What can what can you lose? Matter of fact, I might even give you the five dollars and give you my address, and I'm gonna get those free voltage regulators. I could use some cheap little Chinese voltage regulators to play around with this winter in my garage. All kinds of projects. And I noticed that they are positive voltage regulators. They are the seven eights where the seven nines are negative voltage regulators. The seven eights are positive voltage regulators. I like the seven eights. I'm going to go back there here in a second. As soon as I, as soon as I start making my first million on my ESP32 crypto miner nerd miner version 2 no I'm not talking about the NM miner I'm talking about nerd miner from bitmaker thank you very much and thank you to all the developers of bitmaker I mean uh, of the nerd miner version 2 you know from bitmaker hey it look like it's almost done what's it doing Hey, Gary, is it supposed to do this? Oh, it's verifying. I think it's supposed to do this. Finished. Look at that. Gary said, as soon as it says finish, you can hit stop and shut down the program. Boom. You shut down everything. And then what you do is you go over here to your Wi-Fi setting. You click it. And then you wait. If NerdMiner, uh, NerdMiner AP shows up, then you're all set. If it doesn't show up, Power down the ESP32 and then power it back up. Let's wait a couple seconds to see if it does show up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to power cycle it and then the uh, NerdMiner AP will show up. Let me just check my phone real quick. So sometimes, sometimes it's weird. Phones can pick up the uh, AP a lot quicker than a, uh, a computer can. I don't know what the what that's all about. Yep, the phone doesn't got it. All right, I'm gonna reboot. So I unplug, I unplug it, I plug it back in, and then I wait. And we wait for that nerd miner AP to show up. It will. Let's see. My phone's looking for it. Let's see if it shows up there. Not yet. Give it time. Give it time. It'll be there. <laughs> this is the long part of the video here waiting for that AP to show up when the ESP32 finally says oh, okay I'll, I'll let them know I'm here there it is it just showed up on my phone so it should show up here on the computer here in a second it showed up on my phone Come on, baby, populate. Sometimes if it's stubborn, turn off your Wi-Fi. Down here, 
and then turn it back on. And that forces it to go out there and look. And here it is. Nerd Miner AP. I am going to connect. It pushes you right out to its AP. I'm going to hit the configure. That's all right. It does that once in a while. And there we go. All you have to do is put in your SSID, your password, your pool, your port, your Bitcoin address, and you are ready to go. Boy, this is an old one here. Um, this is not the new software, Gary. Where is the new software, Gary? We want the new software where it has the open pass password spot. Well, it's one of my older videos, so bear with it. Um, look at look through my other videos guys and you'll see the newer software maybe I will upgrade this um, while I got this video um, while I got this video going maybe I'll go to I'll, I'll go to that the, that video I just got that bin file in it and I'll, I'll put in my new the upgraded bin file but anyways guys that is start to finish ground floor to the penthouse how you get your ESP 32 up and mining Okay, well, it's actually not mining it because I didn't put any information in it. But that is how you get your ESP32 all the way from China to your desk mining crypto coin using the Nerd Miner version 2 software. I keep on saying my software. It's not my software. It belongs to BitMaker. Always give a shout out to BitMaker saying thank you, BitMaker, for such a fantastic software and allowing us to use it and manipulate it thank you very much always give a shout out to those guys all right that's all i got like i said i'm going to change that uh link on that um video so that the new one um comes out and uh that's it like subscribe buy me a coffee matter of fact i'm going to go back over to gary's right now and i'm going to buy those voltage regulators what do you think of that all right guys thanks for watching